In October, we had some really intense wildfires. No one knew the fires were coming and they broke out in the middle of the night. It decimated an entire residential area in Santa Rosa, California. There's a lot of families that literally came home to a pile of ash. Driving through some of these neighborhoods that were once there, that are gone, is surreal. To be able to have a company that can lend a hand in actually rebuilding, it means a lot. We're gonna be able to look back in 15 or 20 years when everything is back to normal and know that we worked our butts off to contribute to actually the rebuild process. The project we're heading to today is actually a home that was on the market uh, prior to the fires breaking out. The main house was okay, but all the structures around it, garage, granny unit, a horse barn, burned down. Also, the well house burned down, so the house could not be offered or on the market without power and without running water. First things first, we definitely want to make sure that we have power going to the house, but that it's off while we're trying to figure out where the other circuits went. So we're going to get under the house and we're going to trace out anything we can see visually and, and try to piece together the puzzle of what used to be there. We have uh, line locators where essentially we hook a transmitter on to one end of a metallic object and we can trace it through the ground. And that'll give us a sense of which way the wire went and what we need to replace. There used to be a well house here. It's gone. They have set new equipment. They've also verified that the well is operable. So we're working with the well company. They don't have time to rebuild the entire well house. So we're gonna basically build our own supports for our panel. And then we're gonna pull the old lines out and using a pull tape, uh, pull a new line in so that we can replace the conductors from the main house out to the well house so that we can get this water running. Growing up, working with my hands, um, working with dad around the house, uh, he did everything, you know, we never had a handyman there. I kind of grew up with tools in my hand. Um, so when I did get the first crack at, you know, uh, the offer uh, to be an electrician, it sounded awesome. And uh, uh, the rest is history. I mean, you know, first day on the job, so I kind of sat back and I was like, yeah, this is, this is definitely what I want to do. CNC's main focus uh, for the years to come is to gear up to wire as many homes as we can during the rebuild process, to link up with like-minded contractors, with, with guys that are on the same page as far as the quality and the style of work we want to do, and, uh, and, and get wiring. I am happy being an electrician. I enjoy it. It's something that uh, enables me to do uh, a lot of different style of work uh, within one trade uh, that you don't necessarily get in other places, but I, I, I can't imagine another trade uh, that I would rather be in than uh, being an electrician.